All right, guys, this is 2019 Nissan Titan with a Cummins diesel in it. Um, we're doing the passenger side valve cover gasket. Um, it had a small leak. Um, sometimes, and I tried doing it, it didn't work, but sometimes you can just tighten the bolts up around it and it'll uh, stop the leak. Um, but to get the uh, valve cover off, you need to um, pull the EGR off. It's uh, two bolts up top, and two bolts down bottom, um, and you got you know some electronic things you'll have to unplug, uh, and it's just O-rings here, here, and somewhere else. But you, know, you got your pipes; they got to come off of there. Um, it, it pops off pretty easy, and then you've got your three bolts in the back for for EGR right back here. So. Um, You'll need new EGR gasket. You'll need the new O-rings for the EGR. Um, you want to clean inside the injector holes with a brass brush. Um, you're going to want uh, new seals for your injectors, the four injectors. Um, I did a, a how to pull the injectors out and put a tool in the description on another video just to look up that. Um, Um, the, uh, you take all the bolts out from there, all the bolts in the center out, um, your injector rail, you have to take all your lines off, take a picture of how the lines go, um, and, uh, the glow plug wire just pulls out, it's, uh, it's, it's not really a big deal, you just gotta get some good, good firm grip on it, it pops right off, um, the part that is kind of a pain in the ass is these return lines. Um, you got a, I get a little screwdriver and get it in here and kind of give it a little pry and then you're supposed to push down on both of these and then this pops up, you know, so it's got the little clicky thing in there, but it is a pain in the ass. So I put a little pressure on it with a tiny screwdriver and then get on the other side, push this down and just kind of twist the screwdriver at the same time and it will pop up. It is a pain in the ass and you don't want to break these. Um, you, you just don't want to break these. Look, this one's broken. That means I gotta replace the whole line. Isn't that cool? Yeah. All right. So, um, yeah, just be really gentle with those. Um, you gotta number the injectors. One, two, three, four. They gotta go back in the same exact holes that they came out of. Um, I removed this bottle just to be able to get the wiring harness out of the way. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, I don't think there is anything much else. Oh, when you do, uh, when you put the uh, valve cover seal on, all right, there is a, where the timing cover meets, right there is a line, and on the other side, there's a line, oh, you can see it's right here, where the cover meets, you're going to have to put silicone, RTV silicone on it, hold on. Will be this spot right here. You're gonna put RTV silicone in each of these spots and on the metal itself so that it seals. Um, I put little dabs of RTV um, here and there on this just to make sure it doesn't kick off while I'm putting it in. Just very little bit. This is the stuff that we use here at Nissan. Aluminum RTV silicone uh, works really well. Um, yeah, none of the bolts get pulled out they just hang and that's kind of a pain in the ass because um, you got to uh, wiggle it out and they want to try to grab back in while you're trying to wiggle it out so that's a pain in the, the dick uh, now this is all the passenger side if you have to do the driver side you got to pull this whole intake system that's just a whole nother pain in the ass all right guys um, Make sure you put all new seals and everything. Clean out your injector holes. New seals in your injectors. New seals on everything. Um, you, you don't want to have to get in here and do it again. It's a, it's a full day job, you know. All right, guys. Peace.